Right, hello guys, uh, this is my first tutorial, um, hopefully many more to come. Um, and if you've clicked on this video, it's because you want to know how to change Adobe Audition CS6 back into English, or to English for the first time, as the case may be. Now, um, there's a problem with uh, a lot of the packages that you can install on the net in CS6 and that the fact that it comes in Dutch or German or Italian, Spanish. There seems to be a lot of European versions going around. A lot of people by accidentally have bought the European version of CS6. Um, or downloaded illegally, but we, we won't go there. Um, but yeah, the best way I've found to do this, I mean, it's, it's relatively different for each uh, application that's a part like for instance Adobe After Effects is a different method to changing the language on Photoshop and the same with Premiere it's, it's pretty much a unique method for each one of these I don't know why it's a bit strange but um, uh, as of yet I can't find one for Dreamweaver but if I do I'll be sure to post it um, but and Bridge is again is a different method uh, it's probably the easiest one that one um, but yeah, some of the methods require you to just literally go into a folder called locales. Okay, the one I've chosen it doesn't have one. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, and it's just a matter of deleting a particular file. I'm not going to go into that. There's loads of uh, um, tutorials on the net that can help you uh, change the language for the other apps, uh, what I found is there was no tutorial for addition, but it's relatively simple. So I thought I would show you guys how to do it. I mean, it did take me hours to figure it out, but it was very simple. And it goes a little something like this. Basically, uh, you open Adobe Audition from your applications folder, and you hold control, click, show package contents. You then open up contents, then go down to resources. Now, when you're in this folder, again, for some of the other applications like Photoshop, it's a matter of going into AMT, AMT languages, deleting files or copying files over, and it's, it's relatively different methods. But this doesn't work on Audition, as I'm sure you've, if you've tried, like me, many times, it doesn't work. So what you do is you go down to a folder called Dict, D-I-C-T. Double click on that, open it up. And what you will be presented with is not one file, like, like, like you can see on mine, but a list of files. Um, and they will, they will be called AU underscore Z dictionary underscore uh, two letters and then an underscore another two letters, which is result into the, the country and the language, um, or the language in the country, can I say. Um, obviously, I want English, so what I did was deleted all the other files and just left this one here, which is au underscore z dictionary underscore en underscore us dot txt. And from that point onwards, Audition now opens up in English. It's really that simple. Uh, it's just a matter of just one more time, just so you can see it. Open package contents, contents, resources, dict, and just delete all the files other than the language you, you require and it will open up in that language. I suspect that if you delete all of the all of the, the files, including this one, um, it will still open up in English because I think um, the app is designed to go to default when it can't find any files and the default language is English. Uh, so you can give that a try if, if, if it, um, I can't guarantee it works, I haven't tried it, but I know this does. So let me show you. After I've deleted, after I deleted all that, presented with English titles, menus, everything's in English. And I hope you found that useful. Please let me know your thoughts. Put your comments down below, and look out for the next tutorial. Have a great day.